Hi dear friends, so this is Abdul Aziz Gaur. Welcome to new one of the parts of your Cloud Network Commission Limited. Today so I am going to show you how to connect or how to communicate with RS485 communication systems of the multiple devices such as BAT, any kinds of servo motor. It's a multiple series communications. How do you connect each and every devices of a single protocol systems? This is called RS485 or one bus communication systems. Is um, most but is a serial communication so which is the step by steps connected with RS485 or RS plus and minus. Every steps, step by steps, all is connected in series when you are connected in here. So, friends, I want to describe to front of you how to connect each and every devices and how to programming sequence and application apply in your PLC programming and how to applicable and how to control of your frequency and uh, practically we are seeing in here okay so friends uh, firstly i want to describe to how to connect each and every devices in your physical systems so friends this is um, a sausage um, i have to write this is a smps in here smps okay so now this is writing in here so friends so this is the smps which uh, Input is 220 and output is uh, 24 volt DC, which is connected in our PLC. Now, to take uh, the PLC systematic in here, and uh, this is our PLC, and again we write the analog input for pressure counting here. So, this is our main CPU, and this is our extra volume which is used for the analog signals. Okay. So friends, now I want to write the CPU in here, CPU, okay, and then I want to write the, this is the analog module, okay, now analog module, which is a uh, counter, analog signals uh, for the suction pressure, and uh, it's connected to each and other, everyone, uh, which is connected to uh, the P CPU, I want to write the details in the uh, which is CPU we are using here. And this is the analog modules and how to connect each and every ones and uh, this is our uh, main themes in here this is a physically connected uh, we all know that uh, this is a very affected uh, in here so guys now i want to discuss uh, this is the cpu and this is the analog modules uh, which is connected is the individual supply for the 24 volt this this uh, cpu and individually supply for this analog modules of course this is the uh, CPU of bar S2 or any kind of subject of uh, PLC I want to describe the point of view and physically you will, after then you will see uh, which uh, module you are users uh, of this situation set and uh, practically you are C of that in here this is a um, DBP SA2 okay this is the model of the CPU in here So this is the individual supply and uh, this is the RS485 communication systems uh, which is the plus, RS plus and which is RS minus. RS plus and RS minus, uh, we are next steps we are connected to each and other um, by it. Okay, so friends, uh, now I want to write this is channel, okay, number one channel, so which is uh, individually directed uh, by the simulations in here. And this is three ports in one channel. Okay, I want to write this is the CH1. CH1. This is the channel number one. Okay, so this is the delta PLC analog. I want to write this also in here. Uh, this is the 06XA. Okay, this is the DBP 06XA. Probably in here. You see in here, this is our uh, S2 is the CPU, and this is the our analog input output module we are uses only the ch1 for the pressure transmitter pressure transmitter you are uses of this in here this is the pressure pressure transmitter transmitter output okay pressure transmitter output connected in this channel okay now i want to write this is the are you voltage and this is the current and this is common we are right this is the voltage this is the voltage okay in here this is the voltage 
and, uh, and this is uh, the sign is a uh, current and uh, this sign is yours come on come on so friends this is the boldest current and come on uh, come on is the um, i and um, our we know this is the pressure transmitter out is a 4 to 20 milliampere we are underlying the 4 to 20 milliampere milliampere okay 4 to 20 milliampere range your users uh, of this section in here so friends is the boldest current and come on so come on is um current is minus okay and uh ampere for the zero 4 to 20 milliampere that means uh, our pressure transmitter two cables is connected is current and come on okay so friends uh, this is the rs plus and minus and this is the also rs plus and minus which is individually connected uh which is uh, from, uh you, you see in here this is also ranging capable uh, of saying here so friends this is a plus is connected to the rs plus and uh, minus is connected to the rs minus so this is the channel number one which is uh, signal from the pressure transmitter and this is rs plus which is connected each uh, uh, our analog input modules okay and this is our main cpu okay rs plus uh, this uh, plc and module x module we are connected that means uh, cpu and our analog input module we are connected rs 485 connections and now we are connected to our every device here which is bfd you know our uh, connections point in here uh, this is the uh, one to write down this is the bfd connections in here this is the one bfd and uh, this is also another bfd we are connected in here okay so friends suppose this is a very effective type of moment in here and um, I want to write uh, this is the um, Holly you uh, sell live in Holly Holly C100 okay and uh, this is also Holly similar band is uh, not a specific need in here so similar band is uh, when we choose the similar band the times the resistor is working uh, procedure the times is very easily and um, uh, this is not must be neat. You want to um, also select the many kinds of a brand, um, uh, another brand of uh, BFT. Uh, now you are connected in this uh, is a BFT one, uh, BFT B, BFT G one. Okay. This is the BFT G one, and this is the BFT G two. Okay. Is the BFT zero two? Okay, the problem in it. So friends, this is the BFT one C one hundred series of Holly brand and BFT two Holly A one hundred. Okay, so now we want to. This is the similar of uh, this uh, series communications of uh, our support from the same. We are connected of our C one hundred and C A hundred to raise pft same post of the rs 45 and must be we are connected each and every one every supply in here okay so friends so so friends this is supply of l and, and the pencil is the 220 three phase uh, bft and this is 220 input supply and three phase uh, uh, we are control of our three phase load by this 220 supply bft Okay, so friends, uh, now this is the also plus and minus, RS plus and minus, and this is the also RS plus and minus. Uh, and uh, now we are uh, connect to each, uh, each and every device uh, with this RS485 uh, communication systems. Okay, so friends, uh, now let's go. Connect to the plus to the plus. Okay, again, we are connected to this uh, minus to minus. Okay, so friends, in here, again, we are connected to this. Uh, um, Again, so this is going to this in here, and it's going to this minus position. So this is our minus port in here. So this is our another cable, uh, which is the uh, first negative as minus, and again our plus is connected to each and every one position in here, and uh, we have to go to this uh, this uh, another cables in here, and uh, this is go to this our. I will let into the uh, motor. If you understand, this is the. Our cable is uh, of course separated in here. So 
this is going, going to this uh, positive condition in here control chain our prices of negative condition is uh, fulfilled in, in here and then we understand easily negative to negative so first you see in here this is the um, uh, dust attached this is the detached cable each and every once and uh, plus going to this plus in here and going to the plus and uh, then going to this uh, mark in here this is working in here this is because it is selected in here that's why and uh, now attach to this um, plus attach uh, at plus to plus and then go to this uh, and mark to this of course is the uh, our rs plus position so rs plus rs plus rs plus all is switch connections in here and again minus minus and minus all is rs minus connections in each and every once in here so friends uh, the most important thing here this is the analog uh, module which is counted down Pressure transmitter value 40 20 milliampere, which variations uh, we are our programming applications in here front of you. We are uh, sometimes so after I will discuss front of you. Okay, so for this is CPU, Bower SA2, and which devices we need uh, of our this um, sections or this uh, panels uh, I will discuss in front of you very clearly. And there are you see in uh, this SMPSM, so that means uh, you are our total ampere calculator. Then we are using of uh, this uh, SMPS uh, of this stats in here. And this is the CPU, Bow S2, analog modules, uh, um, Durex, X, uh, and RS485, uh, all plus and minus connected here, uh, each and every once uh, in the uh, series connections in here. So, friends, uh, now we are going to this um, uh, programming sequence uh, how to we uh, are connected and how to we uh, are operate our 2 BFD by this. Uh, pressure of uh, pressure transmitter of any kinds of BFD which uh, we are using uh, for the pump uh, for any kinds of uh, motor in applications of any kinds of industry uh, basically we are users of this uh, sections uh, in the suction line pressure of uh, this pressure transmitter I, we are users of any kinds of booster pump such as a two booster pump we are users of uh, by this um, 2 BFD or uh, if uh, C100 and CA100 so friends, uh, let's go to the, our main practical view of our this uh, connection systems. Uh, I hope you can understand uh, how we open it uh, for that we are back uh, of this situation in here. So friends, uh, now go to this uh, our practical implementation which is uh, individually connected in here. As you are seeing here, this is a 2 BFT and this is a PLC in here. And we are going to this uh, PLC uh, programming sequence. You uh, still believe uh, to any kind of digital format in here. Created uh, of all these uh, programming uh, for easily understand uh, how to connect to each and every one in here. This is a demultiplexer uh, and uh, the 70 for our set value for the pressure for HMI. Uh, okay, two th two thousands uh, we are users uh, for the divided. Uh, that means total value is uh, three thousand value total value. Okay. 3000 our total uh, 30000 uh, our total bit number okay, total bit total bit total bit number bit bits okay so friends uh, why we are uh, there are uh, four is our four bar four bar is minimum Minimum pressure, minimum pressure, minimum pressure, minimum pressure, and uh, of course, 16 is our uh, maximum pressure. So, friends, you see here this is a minimum pressure and this is the maximum pressure. So, friends, so this is the total beat number, and this is a 4 bar is the minimum pressure and 16 bar is the maximum pressure. In here. So, I want to add this is a very effective and uh, Okay, that's why we are K2000, so we are using in here uh, very effectively. And this is our maximum pressure for what is the 32,000 speed and the, our 4 bar. Okay, when we are 4 right in here, the times is divided to this, it's going to this 8,000 in here. This is the maximum and max minimum requirement in here. And so we are going to this, uh, this is the, uh, our big calculations of uh, more, um, more pulse systems in here. And this is our analog conditions. Uh, we are using the first time report in here. That's why we are using of these uh, positions here. And uh, this is our PID systems uh, PID D0 and D2 and uh, D10 and D5. D0 is our set value and this is our first one. D2 is our set value. Okay. And D2 is our process value. And D10 uh, is our execution value. And D5 is our output of uh, PID. Okay. So total output we are going to this uh, this our D5 which is control of our PFD 
this is the scimitar of the case. So friends, and now I want to uh, write this is the programming sequence. Uh, this is all you see in here, it's already in here. Uh, so write this is the PLC programming center. I want to write about uh, PLC programming center uh, to the PLC. Download the PLC program. And uh, now this is uh, going to be fine in here. Yeah, you know, our CPU is run right down in here. Uh, okay, so friends. And now this is running positions in here. Yes, sir, friends, sir. Now I try to that this is the programming sequence in here. Uh, this is your C, this is the value of uh, this uh, 223 of uh, this. Uh, I want to not write this is the position sir, value, this is the value of uh, monitoring sir, as like as uh, this uh, uh, inflations in here. Find your foot of our, find our foot of uh, this uh, uh, 5 bar, okay, 5.5. The times is going to this how much in value your users that this is a 19.4 that means uh, increasing the our uh, pressure by frequency okay and your stated of any kind of a value in here and first time we are uh, going to this value C by monitoring so by the second decimals now this is uh, so in as a integer number tax in here uh, before uh, we are C this is the we are seeing this is the so your processing value is uh, now seen here. What is the processing value? Is a uh, 268. This is our input session pressure, and uh, 8000 is our solid pressure, which is fixed uh, for bar minimum. Okay, maximum is 16 bar. Six is bar work uh, for the your 32,000 speeds, and uh, four bar used for this uh, 8000 speed. Okay. So friends, uh, when we are initially, this is our minimum pressure, a uh, set pressure, which is uh, working for this PID for right now in here, here. So this is our suction line pressure. When we are increasing of our this pressure, that means when suction pressure is increasing, the times our frequency will be decreasing. That means uh, motor or pump slowly down step by steps positions in here. This is balancing positions. Uh, and we are this is our set it which is set by in our fixed position so uh, 4 to 16 minimum uh, 16 is our maximum and 4 is our minimum pressure and uh, this is our suction line pressure which is the pressure rate created by water flow okay so friends uh, now we are going to increasing of our this suction pressure the times you see uh, decreasing of our this frequency of the AFD. this is our main output of BFD which is working here and you see this is the output frequency for pump okay AG8 okay so friends now we need to go to this uh, session pressure is increasing it's in here just increasing 3.7 and 3.7 is uh, pressure goes to 30 hertz 13 hertz and uh, again we are uh, increasing of our this pressure you see in here you use 6.2 in our 6.2 some things in our suction pressure is already decreasing here due to 10 volts working in here and again we are increasing of our this pressure the times is going to the hours and we are suction pressure increasing the times is when do this um uh, our pump pressure our pump running is slowly okay when uh, our circuit pressure is decreasing that means release the uh, water very and then go to this end uh, uh, increasing of our pump frequency that means pump is uh, um, very quickly running in here so friends this is our main reason behind of this programming PID with MERPES okay I hope you guys understand what is the main reason behind of this case in here so friends um, this is the PRD and uh, mode bus program for um, Delta uh, PLC. First time, uh, I want to do this type of front of you. This is the hour, this frequency in here, which is uh, you are seeing here. This is the right now 1.3 in our suction line pressure. That means it's a low pressure. The time is uh, fixed is 50 uh, 40. 
when we are uh, increasing of our this pressure step by step uh, you see here be rated uh, and then going to drink uh, in the floating point mass uh, the times when we are uh, our set or our pressure uh, by floating point mass a uh, 5.5 and then go to this uh, how much pressure uh, working on here this is a 19 hertz because already really in here when we are pressure again this is a 10.5 okay, again 10.5 how much you see in here this is our right now uh, we are going to this pressure and this is a 36 hertz going to that means our pressure so the pressure is a uh, of the times uh, frequency will be of uh, approach the our target value approach and approach our uh, the target value okay. this is the PID system uh, how much frequency or speed uh, which is uh, that is a requirement fulfill and is a need to that frequency approach of our this PID system so I and mean, we are going to this is that um, uh, uh, 15.0 okay the same pressure that time so what is the condition this is a 50 hertz all the way going in here this is our 1.3 our suction line pressure that means the um like as a, a one a or four two or five uh, million periods like as that is the working of it uh, due to 10 volts are working in here but uh, when we are uh, this is used in uh, um, uh, our input line when we are using directly i i will write in here use the 10 volt uh, you are working in here when we are uses of this uh, in here flow per meter of water the times is uh, going to this due to 20 million here okay the times uh, okay so friends uh, now you see this is our maximum approaching pressure but our suction line pressure is very low that times it's going to the pump going to this high speed okay get to the high size speed because our target frequency is maximum the times it's going to the maximum value which is a approaches of our decent uh this um, frequency approaches in here this is the bar oh it's a 15 bar okay so that's this 15 bar approaches working of this um, 50 hertz point we are decreasing of our steady pressure the times is going to this low um, when suppose 5.0 our stated pressure the times is the frequency going to this uh, you see in here this is the decreasing so that means 17 hours working of two pumps right now in here so friends this is the main theme or this is the main conditions of a PID or what was communication dear viewers if you like video of planet automation limited please subscribe the channel and then click the bell icon this process will never miss another new update